Okay, so point that includes a line that includes the points negative 2, comma, negative 7, and t minus 6 has a slope of negative 1 half. All right, so you want to set up... Negative 1, 6. I mean, negative 1, 6. You also, you want to set up the slope formula. What's the slope formula? y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Okay, and we'll make this x1 and then y1 and x2, y2. Okay, now what? Negative 6 plus 7. So negative plus seven, because it's I just do plus because it's the same thing. Well, the slope is negative six, right? So that's m. Oh, equals. oh, oh, sorry. I was in Wait, and then you shouldn't write like that either. Negative one six. Okay, equals. Go ahead. Sorry, negative. Oh, because I was looking at negative six plus seven. Uh huh. Negative six minus minus seven, which is plus seven. Okay. Um, over t um, plus two. Okay, over t minus minus 2, which is plus 2. All right, so you have negative 1, 6 equals negative 6 plus 7 over uh, t plus 2. Or okay, negative 1, 6 equals what? 1 over 2 plus t plus 2. Over t plus 2. Okay. Also, um, it's t t's on the bottom, uh -huh. which is also a thing, which is really annoying. Okay, so this this right here can be done two ways. The first way is move the back the box my way. Remember? Yeah, that's in a drawer. One of those. All right, so you can go. All right, this side over here. So t plus two over 1, then over here, t plus 2 over 1, because you want the t on top. What if the t is already on top? It's an easier problem. Okay. So then you go like that, okay, and then what do you get on the left? Negative t minus 2 over 6. Negative t minus 2 over 6 equals 1. Now what do you do from there? Um, what do I do from here? You want to so you want to kill your denominator. That's what's kind Is of. Is that simple. a b or a six? That's a six. Okay, so then I times six on both sides. Mm -hmm. All right, so six over one times six. So then I get negative t minus two plus um, equals six. Okay, so negative t minus two equals six. Then I add two. Plus 2 plus 2. Which is 8. So we get so negative t equals 8, but then you can't have a negative variable, so you divide by negative 1, right. and you get negative 8. Okay. The other way... It's negative 8. Negative 8. The other way, which would be easier, is at this point right here, you get negative 1 over 6. But this remember, this is only when you have one chunk equals one chunk. You can't have three things. So, and this is the only slideshow we have actually. It's the same slideshow. Okay. It's this one. So negative one six equals one over t plus two. So, um, I mean, you meant to the slideshow. The slideshow is this actually. This right here. No, I know. So we're gonna cross multiply. Did I not write down right? I got it right. So that times that equals that times that. Only with an equal sign in the middle. All right, so how do you want to do it? 6 equals negative t minus 2. Good. So negative 1 times right. t plus 2. So 6 equals negative t minus 2 plus 2 plus 2. Negative t equals 8. Divide by negative 1. t equals negative 8. Get it? Mm -hmm. Okay. That was your problem with the H problem? What? That was your problem with the H problem? The one you texted me? That was a different problem, but I just didn't know how to do fractions in general.